Hello and welcome back to a Kooky Corner of YouTube. You know we all get these little bits of scraps left over at the end of a project or what have you. The, the teeniest, tiniest ones that, you know, you just think, what am I going to do with those? Well, I've got a little project for you that will deal with all of that. So that all the little scrappy bits and all the little bits of yarn and little bits of roving that we have left over after a project. And my way to deal with these bits of leftovers is to make them into something like this. Um, this is a little greetings card. Uh, it can be whatever kind of a card for whatever kind of occasion. You can decorate it with whatever you want to decorate it with. Um, and you can also, as you can see here, decorate the edges of it as well. And all it takes is a few blank greeting cards and scraps. And maybe if you want to, a needle felting needle to use up these scraps. Um, so yeah, I've I've been busy making a few and I thought you might like to see all the different things that we can make. So lots and lots of different variety using up the very tiniest little scraps and on some occasions having a little bit of a go with the needle felting as well. So these are all cards that I've made up. You can see by my fingers. In fact, I can show you a little measurement just how small these are. So they're about three inches by one and a half inches. But you can make them as to whatever size you want them to be. Some of them are a little bit smaller. That's one and a half by two and a half. So these are just tiny little scraps of felt or batting that you might have left over. And you're not sure what to do with them. They're just kind of hanging around. Um, if you also wanted to and have a needle, a felting needle, then have a go at something like this, which is basically a little piece of that felt. And I've used some of these scraps here just to needle felt into the felt base. And then I've literally just embroidered over the top of them. So they make quite a nice card for anybody. I don't tend to put any specific greetings in them at all. Leaving them blank gives you lots of options to um, use them for anything you like, really. You could put notes in them, send them to friends. Um, I do actually sometimes decorate the outer edges of the card just to finish it off. Uh, these ones are just waiting for that to happen now and I'll show you what I do with those when I get to that. But first of all, all you need are some little pieces of felt, leftover pieces. This one you could probably even use as well, you know, if you wanted to do like a long strip. Um, and some blank cards, it doesn't really matter what size card as long as it fits your piece. These are a square card. And um, these are ones I've got in. I've got some bigger ones as well, but they just didn't quite kind of sit right on those. So I put them on these. But it, it really is choice. So your own personal choice as to what size of card. If you want to go for a colored card, that's also up to you as well. And how they start off is like this. So we have that these are all just little pieces of felt I had left over and I have pre-selected all my tiny little bits to go on these. You can see these were all from a very similar batch of fabrics that I had left over and I've just the tiniest bits that I can't even think of that I would use in something else they will fit with this absolutely perfectly. So I'm going to take you through what we do obviously the first thing we do is to lay out our fabrics in a way that makes us happy this is the way that makes me happy with each of these. And I have such a good playtime putting these together. <laughs> Let me say, I'm always happy when I've got little scraps to work with because I know that means I can get another batch of these tiny little quilted pieces um, that 
can bring a lot of joy and also could double up as maybe even a brooch so you could put make some extra thickness on this and put a brooch back on it and you could attach that to a card and that would be a gift as well as a, a present uh, a card present so lots of options so first of all let's get going with one of these so for these little stitch pieces it's business as usual i find it a thread contrasting to the the colors of the fabrics i've got in there and i really like this very bright yellow this is an aura fill 12 um it is 2135 so it's a nice golden yellow it's not a, a lemony yellow but it fits in really nicely with these little bits of fabric i've got here and all i'm going to do as i usually do with these kind of pieces is just give them a running stitch to go all over the piece stop it catching on the edges there and so just turn it around when i get there and go back the other way and i'm going to go up and down this piece of felt and the little scraps and this kind of brings it all together i know i've said this many times before on different videos that i've done if you've been with me for a while if you haven't hello <laughs> welcome this is uh, the usual order of things <laughs> we do lots of things on this channel but i do love bringing together sort of stitching and and fabrics and textiles all together but also then making them something that you can actually um, use which in this case will also probably bring someone else some joy as well um, the way you lay out your fabrics obviously you do that according to what you like um, I quite like very diverse fabrics coming together and they always tend to um look well when they're finished then some of those you might think what are your choices there but once you have unified them with one single thread color like this it all always tends to pull things in together um so i'm going to continue i'm going to continue stitching all the way down to the bottom here these don't take very long at all so if you put together a few like i had here you can always kind of pop them in a little project bag and you can do these kind of things when you're on the go maybe on a train journey or something or you're sitting in a waiting room somewhere this is the kind of thing that you can do there because they're not big you know tiny little pieces sorry i'm jogging the camera and um something that's going to be uh, very nice to finish and very satisfying to make so i'll continue with this and be back in a moment so i've got to the end of my running stitches going all the way across my piece i've taken out my applique pins because now that's all safely and securely attached to the felt base then what i'll do is i'll grab another thread and on this occasion i've gone for one of these this is a wonderful pearl cotton um in ezm1043 which is nice variegated thread and what I look for then are the raw edges so I'm going to start at this side perhaps and I'm just going to very neatly over sew the edges just to keep them down this is what I do this is my process um, you do whatever it is that you like to do with your pieces I'm just showing you how I do mine and if your plans are different then you go with what you do but I find that this holds things together quite well and it's going to not start falling apart I mean I, I don't mind a little fraying edge I'll be honest with you but these look quite nicely when they're finished off in this way when i get to another little bit there i just carry on 
<laughs> so I'm just going to carry on going the opposite way around my pieces. So you start at the optimum point where you can cover as much ground as possible. And this is what I'm going to do literally with all of these little pieces. I'm just going to go around catching them down with this over sewn stitch, which is also a decorative stitch. That's why I picked something with some nice colours on it. And continue. All the way. And I'm going to go to there and to there. And keep going. So that's the thing you need to do. You need to look at the other edges then. There's not many of them. I'm going to leave the outside edge just for now because this is an optional extra. Uh, but go and catch down all the edges of your piece and I'll be back in a tick. Okay, so when you've got to this stage, you decide which way around you want it to go. I'm quite happy either way actually with this piece. It could look good anyway. Um, tucking that little thread underneath. Um, so once you've got to that stage and now you decide if you need any extras on it, maybe you want to put some beads on it or some sequins. I'm just going to show you ones I've previously done so that you can see. So for this one, I've got a little bit of my glittery fabric. I've added in some little circles or ovals of fabric on there and stitched around those. Um, yeah, and gone to town a little bit with some more stitching into it. That one's the felty one. Again, this is little ovals of fabric, a little bit of felt there with a spiral stitched into it. Some more of my glitzy pieces. You can see where I'm going, can't you? <laughs> this one has a little heart on the front. So I cut out a heart, it's got another little glitzy heart inside. We've got some cross stitch sequins and beads. You can literally, as I say, you can literally go with whatever you fancy. So play with it, you know, have fun. This one again, spiral. I kind of in a mood here with <laughs> with the ovals and things and hearts but yeah now if you have used your needle felting needle to felt into a piece what you can do then is add in extra bits of fabric on top of that you could leave it blank and just stitch into it if you wanted to or just leave it blank as a piece of needle felted art but I like to add bits I, I'm adding in little bits of sequins and some French knots and stars and a little bit more stitching going down there just to emphasise that little line going down there. It is really a case of just having fun with it. Then when you've got to that stage, you can just blanket stitch all the way around the edge. Now, there are two ways you could do this. If you're going to do a brooch that you're going to attach to a card what I would do is because the back of your piece is going to be, it's going to have lots of stitching into it. I'd add another piece felt onto the back and then just stitch around it all. And that will also give that strength. It'll give it some more strength. So I know this is not the right size, but back in it with another piece and then blanket stitching all the way around it. That will give you your brooch. And then you just need a brooch pin and, um, attach that to your card. Um, for these ones, because they are not going to be uh, used as a brooch, they're just like a decorative card, then I did not add in uh, bits of the fabric there. I did not add a back into it. I've just literally blanket stitched all the way around the end, which you don't really need to do, but I just saw it finished it off quite nicely. And for this particular one here, let's find that one out again. You can see the blanket stitching all around the edge of it. The way I attach them to the cards, I have two different glues that I use. I've got one to hand, which is this Beacon felt glue. There's an Anita's uh, felt and foam glue as well, but I've got this one at the minute that I'm using. Um, Bonds, felt, glitter, pom-poms and more. Well, my and more is a card base. And you think, okay, so it's going to distort the back a little bit. But when it dries properly, look, there's no distortion at all. And it's just perfectly lovely as it is. So then it's mounted onto its card. So whichever version you've done, if you've done a needle felted one or a little stitched 
Itsy Bitsy Quilt. <laughs> the Itsy Bitsies. Then you can add in some decoration with some pens. What I tend to do is I'm going to grab a couple of the mat hops that I bought. Well, you might have seen on a video recently. And just give them some kind of a, a border. So on this occasion, I'm going to do some orangey dots. These pens are great for that as well. These particular matte hot pens have got a nice um, chunky tip to them. So that it really doesn't take much work to get the ink out. <laughs> so, sorry. Try and keep you on camera, shouldn't I? And then by way of a contrast, I'm going to draw a little line. Which... To my mind represents stitches and French knots <laughs> just done with a pen. You can do whatever you like around it. You can do a full board around it if you wanted to. Just play with it, see what you like. When you've got to that stage, I quite like to add a signature in, making sure I've got the right pen. I do. So I put my little signature down here. This is on all the things that I make uh, card wise so that I know that I've made it basically. It's like an artist signature. So these are so easy, as I said, to make. You can make, make them in batches when you've got like a pile full of scraps you want to play with like these. And it's just another enjoyable way of spending an afternoon. You don't have to think about it too much. It's just a little bit of stitching and you end up with such um, beautiful things afterwards that you can pass on to family and friends. What a way to spend an afternoon, I say. This is just a shameless little plug. <laughs> um, these, Rainbow Connection, it's a stitch postcard kit, but... If you wanted to use this to make some greetings cards, it's a perfect kit. You've got everything in here that you could possibly need. So you've got beads, you've got buttons, you've got thread to stitch with, decoration, all the kinds of fabric you might need, and the bits of felt. So you can make quite a few cards from this little kit. There are only a few left. I do believe there are probably only eight left and I won't be making any more for quite a while now. So if you are interested in grabbing one of these, then I will leave a link down in the description box so you can pop along and grab one of these yourself. Unfortunately, postage uh, outside of the UK is quite hefty. The reason being is that... Um, Previously, I've had a few of them go missing. So now when I send things out overseas, um, I tend to put them as a tracked package so that you can track them. I can see when they've been delivered and everybody's mind's at rest, <laughs> basically. Um, so that's how I work with this one. Um, and I really am, and do apologise to people who live a bit further forward. It's, it's kind of quite a hefty postage unfortunately there's nothing I can do about that but it's a way of getting these together and I do think it's quite a nice little kit if you want to have a go at making yourself some cards or a postcard so that's it so I'm going to go off and finish all of my little cards and package them up and um, keep them for occasions when I need to I might even put some of these in my Etsy shop as well if anybody's interested in having one of these as well they will be there at some point um have a great day have a lovely rest of your week and don't forget i'll be back here soon with something else so don't forget to like and subscribe and show me those thumbs bye for now